is Stephanie Manley with copycat.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a potato gratin. It's going to be very, very easy. This recipe has a French influence and it has a minimum of ingredients, but it has a maximum flavor. You're going to need just some regular potatoes. Now I like to use either russet or Yukon gold work really, really well. We're going to need just a clove of garlic. We're going to use some heavy cream. This is also called double cream. We're going to need cheese for this recipe. I am going to use Jarlsberg, which is a type of um, cheese commonly known as Swiss cheese. It's got a really nice nutty flavor. If you don't have Jarlsberg, you could use any type of cheese, really. Cheddars work really well with this recipe, too. We're going to need salt and pepper. And we're also going to use a little bit of nutmeg. This, this is our secret ingredient in here. It gives the flavor just a wonderful punch. So. Let me show you what we need to do to get started. We simply need to slice our potatoes after we peel them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and heat the cream on the stove top. So I'm going to add about, just about a quart of cream. Now I love to make this recipe for special occasions, like when I have people over, because this is, this is an extremely rich recipe. So it's not something you eat every day. So in the pot goes the cream. I'm gonna put plenty of salt in here. We want this to taste really good. And then pepper. Then I'm gonna stick a couple bulbs of garlic, or I'm sorry, a couple cloves of garlic in here. and we'll just put this on the stove top to heat while we prepare our potatoes. Okay, so you just wanna heat your cream on kind of a low temperature, a low to low medium temperature. We just wanna heat this through. So now that we have our potatoes all nice and peeled, we're gonna go ahead and slice these into thin slices. You wanna do about a quarter an inch or a little bit smaller if you can. So once we get these all sliced up, I'll come back and we'll get these loaded into our baking dish. All right, so we have our potatoes all sliced up. Our cream mixture is heated and it's warm and it's wonderful. So right now, we're just gonna take a little bit of the cream. We're just going to put it on the bottom of our pan. And we're gonna start to layer our potatoes in here. And as we do, we're gonna put salt and pepper on them and a little bit of nutmeg. Okay, so we're ready to go. We put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and just a little bit of nutmeg. Then we're gonna layer with a little bit more cream. And we're gonna just repeat this whole process again and again until we have all of our potatoes in the pan. So when we're done, we'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so we've finished layering all of our potatoes into the pan, it's seasoned. And then I'm just gonna take the remaining leftover cream and I'm just gonna pour this on until they're completely covered. Then we're going to stick it in a 350 degree oven and we're going to bake this for about between an hour or so and then we're going to pull it out. We're going to stick our cheese on top. We're going to bake it for about another 15 minutes and it'll be ready to serve. So I'm going to put this in the oven now and we're going to come back in one hour. So these have been in the oven for about an hour now and you can see they're wonderful they're just starting to get brown i'd hold it up and show you but i burned myself so i won't do that 
Now I'm going to put on my cheese. Again, I use Jarlsberg. You can use something else if you like. We're gonna put this on. We're gonna put it back into our oven. We're gonna go ahead and let this cook for about another 15 minutes or so. And it's gonna get all nice and browned up at the top here. So we'll be back in just a few. So we've just pulled our potatoes out of the oven. I put them in there for about 15 minutes. And for about the last 90 seconds, I turned on the broiler function of my oven just to get a little extra browning. So this is my favorite way to enjoy potatoes when it comes to a holiday meal or just any time that you want to serve something extra special. Easy to do and the taste just incredible. So if you enjoy potato recipes, please give me a big thumbs up here on YouTube so I know that you like potato recipes. Also, the recipe and the directions are contained in a link in the description box, so be sure to click on that. It'll take you right to my blog, copycat.com, and I'll show you how to make these in written instructions. And I appreciate you watching this video. Thanks.